You all right there, buddy? You, you feeling okay? You look a little wobbly. <laughs> you see, this is why I'm struggling so much. <laughs> all right, and so it begins. You know what? No, I need to read the menu first. I can't see. I picked Beam NG because that is one of the more difficult driving games, so I figured out why not. All right, a wanted individual has been spotted near the sawmill. All right, you know what? I'm going to pull the old Uno reverse card here, and I'm going to be the police drunk driving chasing this guy. <laughs> Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Wait. Okay, my car was spawning in. I was like, if I can't see the car, I'm in major trouble. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Never drink and drive anyone. <laughs> this is your warning. Am I going the wrong way? There's text popping up, but I can't read it. Like, nothing to do with the glasses. I just can't read. Wait, there's text popping up now as well. Did I go past my exit? Am I so Was there a turn off? No, I think that's just the glasses. The glasses are a turn off, right? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm looking at you. To be fair, you're probably wishing I wouldn't look at you. These goggles must be terrifying. Okay, we're outside, everyone. Fantastic. Let me call my self-driving car. Ah, oh, here it is. I knocked myself down. Easiest insurance fraud ever. <laughs> Who's to blame? <laughs> I bet the seats even have built-in toilets. Just a hole in every seat. I'm finally driving. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's lagging. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. I think there's actually something wrong. The audio has gone all choppy as well. Don't scream. Hold on. I'm actually only parking up this time. <laughs> the citizens in this game are so easily spooked compared to other games. There's one other thing I want to do. There we go. I want to join me into the family. The O'Reilly household is moving in. Could this be the perfect home? I think so. And it's death day tomorrow. That's a great sign. I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful... No, okay. I should have saw that coming, I guess. God, that really brings me back. <laughs> yeah, this is how I'd be if I was in a game. I'd be dead. I wouldn't be the main character. I wouldn't even be a side character. I'd just be an NPC that's dead. At least this guy cares about me. I didn't even make it inside the house. <laughs> and Jim Pickens is just playing FIFA. Hey there, friends. How is it going? Today, we're playing the movies. We're doing something a little bit different. If you didn't already know, I was hit by a car before as a pedestrian, and I never really told the entire story. So I wanted to make a movie telling you what happened. So this is the movies. This is what we're going to be using to tell my entirely 100% accurate retelling of how the car accident occurred. Okay, so who looks like me? No, you're the same as the first guy. You're the same as the first two, and you're the same as the first three. None of you look like me. All right, you know what? You, even though you look the exact same. I pulled him out of the maintenance pool like he wanted to be a builder or a janitor. <laughs> it's the old cliche of like, you, <laughs> you're perfect. <laughs> and then they're like, me? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be making my own custom script here. It's going to be called The Incident, and it is not a comedy. It is serious. It's an action film. This is me. Uh, this is strong female. This character's kind of made up just to, you know, fill in some blanks from the story. And this is bad guy. He's the bad guy. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I was wearing a cowboy outfit at the time. And strong female can be wearing a vampire dress for some reason. Oh yeah, that facial hair is perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the guy had. <laughs> I'm giving him a monocle too, because that, because that is what he was wearing at the time, as far as I remember. Okay, Okay, I have my script. I think it's very good and also it accurately tells the story of what happened. Now time to put it into production. Pretty much my whole movie's actors and director and whatnot, they're all people who wanted to be janitors. All right, we're scheduled for a 2nd of October 2002 release. I think we can manage that. It's already come back a day. What happened there? All right, begin shooting. I'm still trying to build the sets. The fact that it has a neighborhood, a rooftop and a war bombed street <laughs> really adds a lot of mystery to the script. Oh, also, we need the Wild West Saloon, Suburban Living Room 1, Sci-Fi Starship Bridge 2, and Graveyard. And I think that's it. Okay, how have we already pushed it back, like, to January of the next year? What has happened? I don't know why there's this, like, intense horror music playing when we're just feckin' making the movie. What the hell is going on? Oh, I already have a cosmetic surgery place? Okay, great, because I want to look really cool and buff. You know, I want it to be as realistic as possible. Right, my final stage for this video before we get started and we get drink driving, I'm gonna storyboard out the video in the form of drawing. I'm quite the artist as you already know. So this, that's me and those are my goggles. And this is when I play Jenga. Um, seeing my hands coming out here. What we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit 
of drunk driving, aren't we kids? Okay, I think that's me in a car, at least I hope it is. Uh, how can I make it apparent that I'm drunk, I guess? <laughs> I think that's something else. I don't think you smoke alcohol. Uh, and this is the police behind me. I don't know why he has to stick out his head, he just does. He's a unicorn, he's a very special policeman. So, now that we've planned it all out, let's get started. All right, let's get going. I mean, no. Yeah. What, what do you mean, no? This is the whole idea of the video. It's a sunny day in Ireland. Get our sunglasses on and we're ready to travel. No, you should not. Why shouldn't I? It's a good idea. In a game. In a game? Not in real life. Oh. Actually, now that you mention it, that probably is a better idea. But now that we're here no, anyway. No. All right, fine. Fine, we'll do it in a game. Have it your way. Bit boring, but whatever. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today I have a need for speed. Yeah, it might be underwhelming to some, but you've no idea how fast this baby can go. Oh Jesus Christ, what was that? I'll just leave it rest for a second, that's all right. It's a powerhouse, of course it needs to rest. No word of a lie, this thing can go naught to 60. That's it, it can go naught to 60. All right, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> You know what? I bet I can find a game where I can speed instead. I don't even feel like driving anyway. <laughs> I love public transport so much. It's just a matter of getting home. I, I can push, you know, exercise is always good for you. I think it moved a bit. Or maybe that was just me. How am I gonna get home? I'm losing daylight. I guess I can hitchhike. Three days later. You meet some funny characters out on the road, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, I lost all my money and I can't feel my legs. Uh, uh, Alright, just bring this to me. Hey there, friends. I'm at my computer now. I think it's time to relax and play some speed brawl. <laughs> so four miles. At least you killed me quick that time. You just put me out of my misery. The last one felt like death by a thousand cuts. I even got to a cutscene and it still didn't give me a checkpoint because I died in the cutscene. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? I'll see you there, folks. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh my God, my chimp is dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he gets so close every time. Dry out. It's dry out here. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a literal storm. Drive us to the bank. Oh, <laughs> I think we could use that dump truck in the uh, in the heist, couldn't we? Take that, chimp. You're out of the heist. <laughs> I'm taking your cut. No one should pay attention to us back there. Yeah, especially when we're driving through someone's yard and smashing fences. Oh, for feck's sake, we're really incognito here, aren't we? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the hell? What the? What was that? <laughs> that was feckin' terrifying. <laughs> I, I was just enjoying the cutscene for once. Nothing was happening. I looked to my right and I get some weird Lester Michael hybrid. I really don't want to drive a motorbike in a storm with a cinematic cam. I'm racing. Great. We're racing now. I can't see anything. <laughs> this is fucking off. Great. Need for speed. I have to maintain a certain speed or the bomb on my bike blows up. It's like that movie with the, the bus that couldn't slow down or a blow up. You know that? What's it called? It had to maintain a certain speed the whole time. Uh, the bus that could never slow down. <laughs> hey! Wheelchair or not? What? Lester died? What happened to him? <laughs> Where am I going? Why am I doing this? <laughs> What's the purpose of me jumping the canyon? <laughs> there are no cameras to even record this feat. Oh, we're getting a slow motion view and everything. This is going to be sick. Okay. I seem to be going down really fast. Shit. <laughs> oh no, I didn't even hit the ramp straight. Okay, I might land this one. Yep. Definitely landed, just... Died in the process. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, why does the canyon have to be so big? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna back up this time and get some speed. Like, why couldn't I just get out and move the rocks first? Okay, speed was a bad idea, apparently. Imagine you came out of the canyon to see this jump, <laughs> and then you just see me get stuck in his side like that. It's depressing. It's like a turtle on his back. I have a good feeling about this one. This is good. I hit it at a good angle. I'm going at decent speed. I think I'm gonna make it. I made it. I'm awesome at everything. Oh, shit, there's more. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm not even gonna make it to it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks okay, looks extremely bad, looks shit, looks bad, I'm gonna die. Okay, awesome, I made it. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, okay, get our bearings, get our bearings. <laughs> not bad, not bad, came in at a bit of an angle there. I think I can land it though, I think we're good. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I died. <laughs> it's just like, success, you made it and you're alive as the car slowly plummets in the background. Nothing super interesting happened in the next three years. It was just day-to-day -day life. Uh, running the store went pretty well. I felt like I was actually good at my job. I ran the shop and had between six and eight employees for the most part, and it went on for about three years. Business went pretty well. Then one night, something horrific happened. I went to see Superman versus Batman. Is this his logo? I don't know. It is now Superman versus Batman. <laughs> this is what a bat looks like. And as if the movie wasn't bad enough, on the way out, some madman hit me with his car. I went up over the bonnet and fell off the side. He was probably pissed off with the movie too. <laughs> probably saw me having a brief smile in the middle of it and he was like, I'll show this guy. <laughs> this movie was trash. I rolled over the bonnet and landed on my side. At the time, all I could feel was a lot of pain out of my left arm. I couldn't move it so good and I was refusing to get an ambulance. Luckily, my friend insisted and called it anyway. The ambulance took me straight to the hospital. Even with being in shock, I knew that something was wrong with quite a lot of me. Both my arms were incredibly sore, as well as my jaw and various other parts of my body. Long story short, I had a lot of problems, but one of my main problems was I couldn't seem to raise my arms above my shoulders for quite some time. It became a real problem, especially at work, where I couldn't even reach some of the higher up shelves to show customers anything. And unless I was in control of a situation, I was constantly on edge. This went on for about 11 months, and eventually it became clear that it wasn't getting a whole lot better, if at all. Due to the increased staff cost, because I couldn't do my job, the business kind of stopped being profitable. It was staying afloat, but I had no money for myself, which with increasing medical bills uh, became a bit of an issue. The guy still didn't admit fault for hitting me, and the legal battle only finished up recently, so I was seeing none of that money back, even though I was spending loads covering my medical bills. CEX are a fantastic company to work with, and I also made them a lot of money in the meantime. <laughs> but to their credit, when I looked at selling the business, they offered to buy it from me, and from a reasonable price given they knew the situation that I was in. They knew I was between a rock and a hard place, and if they really wanted to, they could have robbed me. But they didn't, and I thanked them for that. Once the business was sold and I couldn't go into work immediately again, I became very bored, as always. And I figured the best thing to do would be get back into doing a few YouTube videos. This was purely for fun. I never imagined this would ever become successful for me again. All right, get some implants. Whatever you want, really. <laughs> Just any implant. Okay, there we go. He got his implants. <laughs> Whatever the hell they are, I don't know. Unfortunately, he's already filmed, like, a few scenes, so this is gonna be a bit weird. I had to film the whole thing with like three to four actors as well, so I'll ignore the fact a lot of the actors double up as other characters. A star from a rival studio has just joined our stage school line. Oh, a star from a rival studio? Oh, there's two of them. You can both be janitors. I made all the janitors actors, so fortunately for you, we have space in the janitor department. I know what you're thinking, this seems like sabotage. And you're right, we're not called dishonest productions for nothing. Jesus, we've gone back another year. <laughs> May as well get some more plastic surgery or something in the meantime. Get more implants. Bigger this time. A star from a rival studio. Jeez, the stars from Rival Studios keep coming. You can be a janitor too. He's really stressed out and miserable. He's trying to go and get drunk. No, you need to film now. I don't know why having constant surgery is upsetting him so much. It's for his own good. All these other actors are just throwing tantrums because they've been made into janitors. I mean, you could have just said no when I gave you the job. Oh no, he's going to get drunk. Stop it, dude. Come on. Do your scenes. 
Okay, you know what? Watching that scene, I can kind of see why you're stressed. <laughs> One of your stars has been unhappy and is trying to quit. I'll save you the bother. There you go. You're fired. Have fun finding work. Oh, he's feeling better now. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting drunk. Okay. Well, short-term solutions work for me. I just need you to finish the movie and then you can go on with destroying your life. Oh, okay, good. It's just them threatening to quit. Here you can go. I thought it was someone important threatening to quit for a second. A star from a rival studio. Oh, cool. I want to actually hire you as an actor and just experiment on you. Here, have some implants. I'm just going to give you loads of surgeries and see what happens. Oh, no. Now the director is drunk too. Why does everyone who work on my movies resort to alcohol? Oh, stop it. Come on. Just work, please. Oh, God. Talk to him so he'll stop drinking too. Oh, no. They stopped for a second and now they're both just going to get drunk. Oh, Adam is threatening to quit. Quick, give him more surgery. Look at him. It's just all bandaged up. His image is awful. The surgery is not working. At least he's happy though. Even though actually he's not happy at all. He's very upset with his image and he's throwing a tantrum now. Well, you know what? You just don't appreciate everything I've done for you, which is kind of understandable as it destroyed your career. Okay, we're closing in on the last few scenes. We're only, what, 11 years overdue. Yes, look at that. I did it. And most importantly, I looked cool doing it, right? Look at me in the eyes and tell me I look cool doing it. I hope I'm looking at you, am I? Oh, I kind of was actually. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, follow the blue wind, I think. Is it? No, the uh, orange wind? I don't know what this even is. Bikes? Yes, bikes. Really relying on my hearing here. I don't feel like I'm on the road anymore, but I feel like I'm following the smoke. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, that looked awesome, I would assume. Oh boy, I sure hope the roads in this part of the country are green. Otherwise, I am not on a road. Did I do it? No, there's more. Am I in the river? <laughs> Maybe it was just a pothole. Maybe I am still on the road. Could be in Ireland. Looks like I'm the only one left. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Have I killed the other bikers? Wait, summer, is it? Yes, summer. I'm getting so much better at reading while drunk. Oh, this is way too fast. I don't know if those jets are for show or they're coming a bombing run because I'm a danger to humanity. Why are you putting out confetti? <laughs> if it gets in my eyes, I'll be in trouble. I'm already struggling enough. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. What is happening? The most incredible hypercars are all here. Yep, most incredible hypercars and the most incredible repair bills. Okay, I didn't come last, I don't think. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm the guy who took out seven civilians on the way here. <laughs> oh my God, drunk driving is hard. On a serious note, folks, Folks, don't drink and drive. It's a horrible, horrible, despicable thing to do. Okay, the revenue, it, it, oh Jesus, it absolutely flopped and it ruined so many lives along the way. But you know what? I bet you'll enjoy it. So without further ado, here is the incident, the real life. Sorry I'm late, I was just helping the orphans down at the local orphanage. I adopted them all. Oh my god, Yoth, I meant to congratulate you on helping the orphans down at the local orphanage. Oh please, no need to bring that old thing up. I was doing that out of the goodness of my heart. Although that does remind me. I need to donate my entire paycheck to various charities across the country. <laughs> And after my intense workout, I better go out and see what other good I can do around the city. Here I go. Ooh, what an adorable baby. I know how to interact with these things. Look at this. Hello. Yeah, see? I don't respect your religion or you as a person. Oh god, I'm so pregnant. Oh. Evil! Oh, would you look at that? As I knelt down to tie my shoe, I realized there's a bomb here. Well, I best defuse this so nobody gets hurt. Yeah, see? I see a do-gooder. See? You seeing what I'm seeing? Well, this is a job for me, see? <laughs> I'm evil! Well, look at that. The do-gooder's dead. Well, do-gooder, even though you do seem to be kind of alive, you're clearly breathing and blinking. Now that you're dead, I'm gonna go do evil stuff. Oh my god, that guy is so cool. Did you see the way he jumped that car? Yes, he also slowed it so that it didn't hit a school bus, thus saving the all. Well, I'll be darned if I let anyone dig my grave. I'm gonna do it myself, because that seems like the polite thing to do. We are gathered here today in the most unusual clothing, because I was too lazy to set custom outfits to mourn the loss of Call Me Kevin. Uh, I kind of 
boxed myself in here, so I've risen from the dead to avenge myself. Yeah, see? Now there's no one to stop me in my evil deeds. There you go, um, person who does lots of good stuff. Yeah, I'm behind the bar in this scene. Yeah. Not so fast, evildoer. It's me. I'm back for unexplained reasons. Watch out, strong female supporting character. There are Nazis in here. Take them out. Stop right there, criminal scum. Freeze! Oh, why does everyone have to be female? For, oh, no, no, male, okay. Freeze, you! The whole town is evil, actually, so we're sending you to jail. No jail could ever hold me, as jail is for baddies and not me. You really thought you could get away with this one, didn't you? Being all good and goody two-shoes and such? Well, we're evil, so get in the cell, haha! <laughs> I have to get out of here. There's only one thing that can be done. Use my raw male peak masculinity to break out of this place. Uh, uh, uh. So do you think this movie is kind of weird? It might be weird, but sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. You'll never catch me, see? You see, the guy said I'll never catch him, so that's why I came here to space to try and get a, a helping hand. You seem capable, you are a new captain. Evasive maneuvers, move to the, uh, the other side. There we go, done, that was nice. <laughs> Take this random family in the suburbs. <laughs> Mr. Evil Guy that we never named or, or did we just call you bad guy bad guy we're here now let's fight kung fu style <laughs> Oh my god, bad guy. I'm sorry, I was so focused on being a good guy that I didn't focus on being the bigger man. Are you gonna be okay? I have a confession. I am Hitler and you must go defeat my army. Oh man, I wish we had the budget to include a car in this scene. Oh yeah, evil party. Oh yeah, love, love this party we're having. We're Nazis. Not so fast, Nazis trying to start World War III. I suggest you end this violence. We better do what he says. He's riding a horse. Is this German? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. We beg you, please spare us. We surrender everything. <laughs> I don't know what's happening now. What do, what do Germans sound like? Well, that's all in a day's work. Job done, right, Chief? Well, almost, Kevin. There's still one thing left to do. You must go back in the past and kill baby Hitler. There, there, baby Hitler. Sleep soundly. I came here for the baby, but I guess you will have to die, too. Take <laughs> this, baby Hitler. Goodbye. <sighs> well, that's World War 1, 2, and 3. Or no, just 2 and 3 avoided. Sorry. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. I, I did it. Now to ride off into the sunset and make videos. Another video uploaded. Just trying to make people happy. Wow, I'm a good person. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Goodbye. Yay! Because I got a blue shell. Dahi's in front. Dahi's been pretty nice. He's been helpful. <laughs> Kevin, please. <laughs> I'll tell you when to use it, Kev. I'll tell you when to use it. Okay. Use it now! Use it now. Use it! Don't use it. I'll it's tell going. You, Kevin! Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Kevin! Turg's just happy to be involved. <laughs> you just gave Dan the win, Kevin. <laughs> Turg's just happy to have made an impact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You know what, Kevin? Our That's job it. right now is to just be funny, because we're never going to win. I can't do that either. <laughs> this is too hard. <laughs> At two, Kevin, hold. At two? Hold okay. it down, hold it down, hold, hold it down. down. Okay, hold oh, down. okay, now I understand. God Close. damn, you're on my screen, oh. I hit you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hit you, Turk. Oh, I'm like, Why? Like, Turk did nothing. <laughs> Threw a green shell backwards to Turk, who has 11 points. <laughs> By the way, we've had 11 races. I got disconnected from years. one. I would probably have 12 if I didn't get disconnected. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, yeah, boys, when it says two, did you get hit last time, Kevin? Yes, I got it, but uh, Dan didn't, so if you can explain it to him. <laughs> No, you can explain it to him now. When it gets to two, Dan. Oh my god, he messed it up again. Down back here next to Brian. Do you know how insulting that is? <laughs> I have feelings, lads. No, no, no. Know, don't. We yeah, don't we care. Don't care. <laughs> Not in Mario Kart, we don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, come back to Turg. Turg won't make fun of you. Come back. <laughs> Turg will make it all back. I really like the start of the race because it feels like I'm really part of the race. Yeah, part of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, I got a blue shell. Tell me when to use it. No! Don't use it now. Don't Any use it. Not now. Okay. Use it's it now. Use idea. it, Andan. Use You're it, You're giving me mixed messages. Use it now. And 
Okay. Oh, you it now? Okay. Three, two. Wait. Relax. All right. Okay. I'm using it. Relax, or I'll no, never use no. it. Okay, Mister. Oh, it's getting dark, real. <laughs> it's been a long day, Jesus. Potatoes, they grew. It worked. Oh, let's go. No, no, no. Wait, we we need a trailer to to put them in. Guys, there's, there's a trailer in the cool. tunnel. Back. Stop that! No, we can't. <laughs> Why is it on its side Look, again? I got no glow out of our hair. All right, it gives them something to do. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start harvesting. Okay, we're about to harvest our first potatoes. I don't think they're ready. Are they ready? I don't think it's doing anything yet. I don't think they grow in a day. <laughs> uh, how do I make them grow faster? You just say, grow! It says it needs rolling. You need to roll them so you break the stalks, and then they grow like twice as much. Okay, I'll do that. No, Kevin, you're destroying all the crops. I thought I was going to roll them. No, <laughs> no, you've up. taken out like a massive line of them. Well, I definitely rolled them. Die. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. You're the finest scarecrow we ever had. <laughs> I haven't seen a crow since you stood there. <laughs> uh, doing great. I think I, I think I may have upset it? him. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just playing Clash Royale. <laughs> Kevin, I'm about to roll your world, bro. <laughs> How are you know nothing Kevin! beats potato technology? <laughs> oh God, the no, Kevin. He started it, Dan. He really did this time. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, nice. that's oh, a oh, 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 Roll them. Oh, look at it rolling. Oh, those. that's pretty good. Jeez, if they were done in straight rolling. lines, we do it all in one go. Oh, Wait, Chat, you're destroying them, Jack. Bro, you're destroying the potatoes. I'm trying to turn around. Them. You're rolling them into the ground. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm picking anything. Up. It doesn't. No, it looks like you're just destroying them. Oh, wait. Unload here. Unload here. Okay, control and I. Come that on, potato. looks like nothing at all. What's happening? <laughs> there's, there's nothing oh, coming no. out. Where are all of the oh, potatoes? No. They're, 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 they're deer flowering. They're deer flowering. Oh, the flowers are gone. We have to remove the flowers. Oh, my God. What does that mean? We have it's it's the potatoes disease. Guys, the blade is back. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This started with the famine and it's ending with the famine. Wait, it's coming out. It's coming out. The famine's coming. I'm doing a hard right, Dan. Get ready for this move. Oh, okay? okay. Change your name to Call Me Famine. This there is we bullshit. Go. Call me there famine. There we go. Come on. I'm it's catching some of them. You fucking yes. missing. Herbicide Time is moving rolling. too fast. Oh, it's because it's winter. Dude, this is Kevin. bad. What? He's rolling. Oh, it's, no. it's, coming. it's coming. It's coming. The it's potatoes. No one as well. Oh it's my so God. Someone oh, oh, Dan, you gotta catch more. You gotta stay with me. If only it was in straight lines. I keep injecting myself by accident. <laughs> Sounds like a really lame excuse for my addiction, but no, it's actually legit. Oh no, they're chasing me, but it's not my fault. Well, that part was a little my fault. But like, I don't have a car. I have to steal one. It's been a long time. So long, I've forgotten who you are. Sorry, I've not played the game in a while. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts. If I owe you money, I'm not coming. <laughs> I don't remember any of it. Problems. Hey, that car just disappeared. <laughs> Why didn't mine do that when they were about to ram me? Autonomous vehicles. Oh. <laughs> thought it was a garage, not just like a normal entrance. Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven, seven? Wacky. <laughs> Preem, I basically shit green apples. I don't know what that means, but that's what I'm going to say. I shit green apples. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I'm talking to a human. It's always hard to get through those bots. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. What? So that wasn't a setup? I'm getting a payout. This is great. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. Okay, so I gotta go find his missing cars. Ah, that's where I parked. <laughs> Couldn't quite remember. Merging. They can't see you if you yell merging. 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 God damn it. Terrible drivers in the future. Oh, the insurance gets calling me again. He's like, come on, man. You can't draw for shit. Thanks. Try to find him. <laughs> Even while I'm on the call with him, he could hear me smashing into other cars. What the hell was that? 
Jesus Christ, what is going on over there? <laughs> I get it. Roundabouts are confusing. Wait, is that the car I'm after? Did you just spawn in? Do take it slow and try not to hit anything. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, pretty sure this is the way that's just on the building and down the ground here. And shortcut completed. Well, <clears throat> um, hold on a second. Hold on. Wait, it's just a little tree. Oh, that's the other tree. One second. Oh, that's the first tree again. Okay, shortcut completed. Steal this? All right, Grand Theft Horse. Oh, hold on. I don't have my horse license. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm in the big city. You like my loot play? <laughs> this is where I'll make my fortune and become a musician. <laughs> it's little singing along with it. It's great. Oh, sorry. I'm here to meet the boss. Wait, why are you fighting? <laughs> Let me calm the situation down. This isn't calming them down. If anything, it's making them more angry. Oh, my God. You hit me. Friendly fire. <laughs> Jesus. It's as if people don't like the loot played of obnoxiously loud right into their ear. God, ye olden times were weird. Oh, he's just beatboxing. What's wrong? Don't have a loot. <laughs> oh no, no, that's bad. That's bad. I was about to say that's bad in ye olden times if someone sneezing next to you, but just bad in general nowadays. Wear a mask, please. Is he following me along? All right, who knew a loot and beatboxing would go together so poorly? I think all of us. Oh, he's getting on my horse now. He's beatboxing on my horse. Okay, come on, beatboxer. I gotta go steal another horse for some reason. I don't even know why I'm doing it. The boss just said I gotta do it. Ah, this is the horse. Oh, that is a fancy horse. Come on, beatboxer. Should I name him? No, I don't want to get too attached. I mean the beatboxer, by the way, not the horse. What? 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 Oh my god, those horses have sirens on them. Oh my god, I'm getting trampled. Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, where's my beatboxer? He's dying. He's dying. I'm dying. He's just frantically beatboxing. All good things come to an end. Did he kill my beatboxer? I think he did. That is so sad. He beatboxed his way right into my heart. I didn't think I'd be saying that today. Or ever. <laughs> nice work back there. I mean, I only killed one person and that was a mandatory person. They're acting like I was actually competent and killed everyone in there. I always park in such convenient spaces where I just can't miss it, you know? I'm really good at that, like not losing my car. <laughs> Great at finding shortcuts in this game. There we go, and it only cost one human life. Stop shooting me, I'm the main character and I'm at my destination. Straight into the mouth, lad, straight into the mouth. You still hungry? Hungry, <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Kevin, stop smelling the... What do you mean? I'm just going straight. <laughs> you're going left and right. Wait, the tracker's stuck in you, Kevin. Oh, Back up oh my god, you're, you're turning left, it. Dan. You're supposed to be turning right. You weren't turning, so I turned for you, Dan. We're gonna Euro. make at least oh, 60 euro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, give me patience. <laughs> <laughs> You direct me. Kevin, you gotta stop driving into me. I thought you were driving into me. I was in park, Kevin. Okay, <laughs> right, down this way, lads. Oh, to the left, left, to the left. Hold on, hold on. I'll do a turn. This thing is surprisingly <laughs> nimble. This <laughs> looks shocking from this angle. Oh, don't dip over the fucking potatoes. Oh I swear god, to god. god. Those potatoes are brown gold right now. That's her fortune. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Are you alright? One less person to split the hall with. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! no wait, no, it's no, giving no, us money! It's giving us money! Oh, it is? It's it's oh my god! We're in the four hey, digits! We're, 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 in the we're in the green! Oh, and now we sail off combines. into the sunset! I'm feeling it's everything! <laughs> Thanks very much, everyone! That's my boat! That's my boat! It's invisible, and it's top of the line, I assure you. It has all the bells and whistles. It has everything. You just can't see it. How about repair all vehicles? That would be so... Oh, that would troll me so bad if you just repaired all, all the vehicles. Oh my god, guys, don't, don't do it. I don't want to get repaired. Great. <laughs> the car just <laughs> spontaneously falls apart. That's what happens one day after warranty expires. <laughs> the whole car just falls apart. Drive under Jimmy and hold the vehicle steady. I can't even catch up to it. Good thing I'm not drunk driving or that might be a danger to myself and those around me. Fantastic. I'm drunk. Hold on, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How hard is it to drive when you're drunk? Like in game, I don't want to test that in real life. 
Stop being drunk. Get a better metabolism. God, what have I done? What have I done to you guys to deserve this? <laughs> ah, Jesus, what was that? Vehicle rain. Fantastic. Could I just take that boat? <laughs> that previous boat. Honestly, it looked bigger than my boat. And I could get another better sun. Easy. Oh, there's a 30 mile per hour speed limit. <sighs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> They're like, ah, Jesus, he's getting fierce overwhelmed. We'll give him a break, but we won't let him complete the mission. We'll just give him a little break for his heart to just reset a little bit. <laughs> I like the way you're playing this because there are ones that you could just be like end mission and just kill me or whatever. But you're picking the ones that are like giving me that little, that little shred of hope that maybe I might get my boat back. <laughs> this, this is fine. This is fine. You guys have been very nice. And I think, what the hell is that? That's Jesus! Oh my God! I saw it coming. There was something like flying towards me. And I was just like, is that Jesus? And I just see the rocket flying towards me. What the hell is this? And remember to subscribe to my channel. Or else. More, 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 like, right, right, more, more, more.